All right, y'all, like I said, I'm gonna do an orientation video real quick. So, my first day, um, well, I was actually on my way from the oil field. I left the oil field to come here because the oil field wasn't paying nothing. So, um, me and my girlfriend were like, you know what? A super ego approved me three times. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. Going off what I heard with the horror stories. So we started coming. We got up here, you know, it was a 13 hour drive. We got up here and I had to pay for my first night in the hotel cause it was, you know, it was so late, you know, when I made it. So I stayed at the super, uh, super eight I stayed at, which I wasn't tripping. I don't, you know, I didn't even care. So, um, I had told my recruiter no, my recruiter texted me. He said, hey man, um, you still good for Monday orientation? I said, yeah, I'm up here now. So he had told me, he said, hey, you know we have orientation on Sundays. This is just the truth I'm giving y'all. He said, you know we have orientation on Sundays. I was like, oh, cool, bet I'll be there. So I had came to the orientation, supposed to be an orientation on Sunday. And I ain't do nothing, bro, nothing. So. Which, it was cool, because I got the feel, you know, got the feel of the environment, how everything was. Met some cool people there and all that. And, uh, like, I went and, like, they gonna, like, first you're gonna check in with the security guard. And the security people gonna tell you, hey, um, yo, yo, as, yo, your manager would be such and such, this, such and such. So I went to this, uh, 12, and... He was like, hey, come back at three o'clock. Cool, I had my car there, you know, I was chilling. So, um, bro, stop watching me. <laughs> he was staring at me, man. But, um, I had went back just walking around. Three o'clock, went back. He was like, let me see your license. I gave it to him. He said, okay, your hotel book. I said, that's it? I don't worry about it. But went back to the hotel. Next day, Monday, they got everything going. Um, I had I had a different yard manager, which was Alex, man. Shout out to Alex. Alex cool, bro. Alex cool. If you ever watch this video, man, you cool, bro. <laughs> Alex so funny. But sat down with Alex. He asked me, what kind of truck you want? I said, anything but a Volvo. So uh, he had said, okay, go do your, go do both of your orientation class, which was the ELD. I don't know her name, but she was cool. She went over everything about the ELD. And she also went over a little stuff about the load board, which I'm going to end up doing a video on the load board too. That's actually how I booked this load on the load board. So, um, we had went over the stuff with the, uh, ELD. She explained everything how to set it up, all that, and the low board stuff. And then that class was an hour. It was from 12 to one. Then the Alfredo class was from one to like three, 3.30, which bro, he teach you everything. If you wanna be successful, go watch the other videos I have, you know, was talking about. You'll be successful just from his class. Like I learned stuff. Yeah, I've been driving nine years, but he told me some stuff that I ain't even think about, you know, how to just stuff, bro. If you want to know, go to the orientation. But yeah, he teach you some stuff, man. And after, you know, and then he break it down to where it's like, dang, bro, it's that easy. So uh, his class was from one to like 3.30, might as well say four o'clock. Cause we really sat there like, you don't, you don't even feel like you in class, man. Like for real. You know, it's seriousness, but you don't feel like you're in class. Um, after that, you go back to your yard manager and he like, hey, let's go see the truck. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, did I do my... Yeah, then he was like, let's go see the truck. So around that time, it was like 4.30, around 4.30, went and seen the truck, checked it out, and I had to go in the shop. They replaced some tires for me. Uh, the hub seal on the 
passenger side. They did that for me. And what else they did? They replaced the driver mirror for me. And they did a PM. Like, and then I slept in the truck, everything, man. They put a brand new mattress. They, man, when I tell you, look, when I first got in this truck, this truck looked like you just took a pile of dirt and just dumped it in the pool. Man, bro, not this truck, bro. Like showroom flow truck, bro. So they make sure you good. And all right, so back to it. After I had got the trucks, you know, I slept in it that night, took it to the shop. They did everything they needed to do. And what I do the next day? No, and then after, no, I got the truck, went and did a drug test. And then, yeah, went and did it right, went and did the drug test. Then brought the drug test paper back, but they were closed. And I waited the next day. Email her to email. Um, I don't know the safety lady name. She know what I'm talking about. She once you go in, all the way to the make that left. She all the way to the right. Yeah. Her. <laughs> um, email her the stuff. Everything was going smooth. I waited on my drug test to come back. My drug test. I did my drug test on a Monday, and it just came back today everything straight man and um you go sign your paperwork redo an application you got to show more than four months experience which i showed i showed all my nine my nine years um then you gonna uh once you do all the stuff for safety paperwork and stuff then your drug test come back they're gonna send you, they got, if I ain't mistaken, they got three yards. I only seen two, Bolingbrook and Amherst, which I got my trailer from there. They're gonna make, no, well, no, no, I take that back. Rewind, rewind, rewind. They wash your truck for you too, on the yard. Um, so they're gonna take the take pictures of the truck and all that, put new IFTA stickers, make sure you got your New York decal thing or whatever and all that, New York sticker. And then they're gonna send you to the yard to get a trailer, which they gonna, then they gonna give you a binder and all that fuel car. But yeah, um, like I said, if you wanna know everything, like you wanna experience it, just come to Super Ego, bro. But yeah, then they send you to the yard, get your trailer, make sure everything good, do a pre-trip on it. Gonna load, then your dispatcher gonna call you out of nowhere, bro. <laughs> he like, he called me out of nowhere. Hey, this me, it introduces itself and all that, how you want to run. You tell them how you want to run, man. And yeah, um, but which, he was he was trying to find me a load. I was like, bro, you know what? I'm going to help you look for it. So I went on the load board. He was like, I'm going to call you back in 10 minutes. All right, cool. I called him before that because I found a load. I was like, all right, cool. 300. My, my memory had got full. But yeah. He was like, I'm gonna call you back in 10 minutes. I was like, all right. So I got on load board, started looking, started looking. I was like, all right, why not run a load? 300 and some miles for a thousand dollars. So, you know, I I mean, I mean, bro, listen, y'all gotta understand, <clears throat> ain't no company perfect, but here is all about how you manage your expenses. Like this one load, for example, this one load right here cover my expense, my fixed cost. It cover my fixed cost. And I still got what? Uh, today, what, Wednesday? I'm going to deliver it. I'm going to run this tonight. I'm going to deliver this. Hopefully tonight I can deliver it. And so that's Thursday. I got Thursday to run, short run. Then I got Friday to scratch it out. Deliver that Saturday. No. Time going Monday. Sunday night. Sunday night. Um, <clears throat> deliver this. You know, give me a good run. Deliver that on Sunday. Boom, I got me a check Friday. I mean, bro, it's all how you manage your stuff. What 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 what's not like like Alfredo told me? Cooking in the Himalayan, man. Shout out to him. Man, shout out to Mac Life, bro. I'ma keep shouting y'all out too. <laughs> but um like Alfredo told me, man, he said, one thing that never change is your fixed cost, right? What is your fixed cost? Your fixed cost is truck note, trailer note, insurance. Well, your insurance could change, but it's not gonna change. And 
That's it. That's your fixed cost. And what's not your fixed cost? Fuel maintenance. Them two right there is always going to change. Your fuel and your maintenance, man. So if you can manage your expenses, bro, you, you good. You good. I mean, I met drivers here, bro, who say, man, that y'all, what y'all be posting on here, bro, is, man, get that up. Get gone somewhere. Because it ain't true. Yeah, man, like I said, the ones who didn't make it, man, is the ones who are always talking negative, bro. So don't let nobody else determine on what you want to do because of a video. But y'all see it firsthand, bro. I mean, if y'all go back and look at my videos, man, y'all will see when I was gone. Every every night I make a video on what I did that day. So now y'all see me in the truck, bro. In the truck, man. Here picking up my first load, bro. In the truck picking up my first load. So yeah, don't let these people tell y'all, man, this and that, this and that. Experience it for yourself. Experience it for yourself. But that's gonna be the end of the video, man. This Melissa over here trying to learn the low boy. <laughs> Trying to learn the load, boy, bro. It ain't that hard. Start day, end day. And if you want to know the rest, man, come to Super Ego. But that's going to be it. I'm ready for the trollers to, you know what I'm saying, come on here. Man, I had one. I got to tell y'all this, bro. I had one dude say, are you an American trucker or a Donald Trump trucker? <laughs> I thought that was funny. I thought it was funny, man. But yeah, man, y'all come to Super Ego, bro. Like Alex, man. Shout out to Alex. Shout out to Hammerlane, man. Shout out to my boy Mac Life for y'all.